name is Winston Bennett, as you know. Well, it started in Jamaica because I started by making a, a bamboo guitar. And, you know, it, it wasn't much, but it was because um, I, I, you know, I was sort of my, my parents, my father had passed away, and my mother was in the UK, so I didn't have much um, support financially at this, so I had to make my own entertainment. So, therefore, I made a bamboo guitar. Yeah, I, what happened was I got the music lessons, and then um, I remember I was living at a place called Liston Road, the road called Liston Road in Clapham Common, and there was a, there was a square called Grafton Square. And um, one day, we would, all the all these youngsters, like 13, 14 year olds, used to gather there. And uh, one day, this two Indian people, young guys, came around and both had guitars. One played rhythm, and one played lead. You know, and uh, that was that's when I really got the bug for it. At the time, at the time, we were all interested in pop music, you know, because that's what we were, we were hearing at the time, you know, there was no, no reggae or anything like that. It was just um, pop music like um, Petrula Clark and Cliff Richards and people like that, you know, pop, pop artists. Um, and, uh, and, the, and we had a, a show called um, Top of the Pops, uh, Top of the Pops, uh, Ready Steady Go, yeah, you know, so we just had Dusty Springfield, Lulu, all those people. And later on, as the years went on, we had a, 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 in, a, a, tingly, a little bit of um, the American song, the American singers who came over like Martin the Vandellas and Supremes, and then that's where we discovered uh, black music, you know, which was coming from the States. Prisoner of Your Love. Uh, the, uh, uh, that came about with my band Merger. We were, we were playing um, the UK and, and the continent, and, and unfortunately, we couldn't get a record deal. But uh, all over the world, you know, we had, we had the Panthers saying, Black Panthers saying one thing, you know, Black Consciousness. We had, um, we had um, things, things happening in Africa where people were seeking independence and we like we were stuck here. So um, you know oh, like like for example I said you know all these time we wanted a record deal we can get one and it was just not knocking the heads it's a stone wall, you know. It's it's like you know it's a difficult life as a as a, as a black person so as if as to say people would just see you and listen to your stuff and use it but they wouldn't give you the credit for it, you know? And they, you know, so basically that was it. You know, we um, we never felt that we were being given the fair shake of the of the whip. You know. Well, the highlight of, of my career career so far has been the the, the gig we did with Bob Dylan, um, Eric Clapton, John Armitrade, and Graham Park and the Rumour. And Lake at the, the picnic in Blackbush, which was in Camberley, Surrey, in uh, 1978, and um, there was 250,000 people. It's a quarter of a million people at the concert. It's probably the biggest concert that's ever been held in Britain, and um, you know that, that was an experience that comes once in a lifetime, you know. And um, we played and on stage, as far as the eye could see, was people, you know, and um, we had great big stacks of equipment size of a skyscraper and each side of the, the, the stage and about 250 yards down the road there's another set of speakers you know as big as a house and um, it was wonderful you know and, um, I, I, I mean I realized that there was a lot of uh, there was 54 countries in Africa and and the majority of people didn't know that you know that, that even Africans themselves didn't realize that there's 54 countries so um, yes I did research and I found you know like um, for example um, 1884 you know that, that was when um, the, 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 the governments of Europe um, divided up Africa for themselves you know and um, this is so factual, so it's the Berlin Conference, you know, so you can check that out. And, um, and then um, everybody was there, all the European and the 
the American today with that conference. And, um, and there's the first verse. The second verse is, um, you know, a lot of people don't realize that um, King Leopold of the, uh, the Belgians, he, he murdered 15 million Africans, cutting off their hands and feet, you know, um, which is a fact. And, you know, he publicized it, you know. I was 11 and um, it was like a culture shock to me because I came over and it was cold. I came over in November and it was cold and in Jamaica I used to drink a lot of water. And uh, when I went to the tap here in, in, in England to drink some water, the water was so cold it gave me a brain freeze, you know. And I thought, you know, that was, that was my first impression, you know. And, but anyway, I mean... I, I, I love my time here, you know, I think Britain is, um, is a fantastic place, you know, um, you know I, I stand up for Britain and, um, you know, I, I love Jamaica as well, but, you know, like, my, my life is here in, in, in Britain, in England, you know, I go back to Jamaica from time to time, but, but um, you know, I, I'm such a, I'm so accustomed to the life in, in England that after a while when I'm away, you know, all I can think about is a nice cup of tea, you know, and uh, pushing chips, you know, and uh, yeah, so it grows, Britain grows on you, you know, a lot of, a lot of, um, a lot of um, Jamaicans, uh, well, West Indians came over and in the intention of working and going back in a few years, but they, you know, they stayed, you know. Thanks so much, Winston. Really pleasure talking to you. And, you know, we look forward to obviously hearing your music and, and obviously uh, featuring you on the site. So thank you for your time today. Thank you.